We're ranking the top 25 most painful moves to get hit by in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Why? Because my brain goes to strange places. Let's get on with it. At 25, we have Yoshi and Kirby Eat. This isn't as painful, but more like traumatizing, as I'm sure getting bored isn't on most people's to-do list. Except you, you sick fuck. Next is Dr. Mario Fair, and I don't know if you've seen this move, but this little guy's arm grows like three times its size. And based on how this move sends you to the moon, I don't want Dr. Mario necessarily caving in my skull. Continuing this theme, DK Fair. It's the same, but it's a big monkey. I don't need to say anymore. 22. Imagine getting kicked in the skull, but then getting kicked in the skull like 10 times in a second. That's Yoshi Dare. Dude is brutal. There's a reason his final smash in later games is just death by trampling. Not so friendly of a dinosaur, really. So we've been talking about a lot of bludgeoning, but now do that with a weapon, and you have Kirby's side B. This little pink blob is a menace, bro. You're not getting out of this move without a Mortal Kombat kill screen on your ribs. 20 is Icy's F Smash, cause it's Kirby's side B, but with just two little guys just jumping you in an alleyway and just bashing your skull in with a mallet. Oh, he's back again. This little demon just loves breaking bones. What do you want dropped on your head? A rock? Maybe a hundred ton weight? Maybe just a box? Either way, they're all gonna mess you up for life. And you just know after all these brutalities, he's hitting you with the, uh, uh we're gonna insert with the, insert the little Kirby like, hey, yeah, hey, 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 thing sound effect, and then just delete this little bit at the end here. Yeah, cool, thanks. Okay, so everyone hates getting punched, right? Don't really know why I need to establish that. But what about getting punched, but then you explode? Well, Mario's got you covered with a hit that's not only sure to be painful, but also to leave you with some nice third degree burns. Okay, so back on being bludgeoned. You know what's really hard? A skull. Know what's really painful? Someone flying you headfirst at Mach 10. I mean, not that I would know, but I just feel like it would just bend you over like a flip phone. 16. Bowser cooks you alive for fun. I mean, he is the bad guy for a reason. The only reason it's not higher is because it doesn't last that long. Number 15 is you hitting that subscribe button. <laughs> the real 15 is Mr. Game Watch Torch. This gets extra points for just how sadistically the 2D man lowers his torch onto you. And, oh, and the fact that you go, like, absolutely flying. And you're on fire. 14. Ness and Zelda cook you alive for fun. Except this time it's precision, like you're being branded. Imagine Ness just brands the word OK into your chest every time he down throws you, the little psychopath. Next is Fox and Falco's up throw. Imagine how much force goes into getting tossed up in the air like that. You're just experiencing insane G's on the up, and then while you're chilling on top of it all, you're just all vulnerable and getting plastered full of holes. I mean, it's just unfair, really. Speaking of being plastered full of holes, Sheik's about to make you look like Sasuke with all the needles she's throwing at you. You know this ain't outright killing you, but having all those things stuck in you is gonna hurt like all hell. I mean, you probably die just really, like, slowly. Maybe have a guy, like, cradling you in his arms, and then he'll, like, go fox mode. Anyway, I'm going to the anime references. Let's move on. At 11, we have Lynx Bombs. Now, you might think I'm crazy, but in my head, it's like a grenade, but because it barely launches you, it's not enough to kill you, so you've just got to deal with the burns and the shrapnel getting you in the everywhere. And then this silent motherfucker just hits you with, like, 50 of these things, and just goes, hmm. You know he's crazy, bro. You ever get punched in the nuts? Hurts, right? You ever get uppercut in the nuts? Even worse, it's just like your little guy's getting <laughs> against your <laughs> So that, but it explodes. Luigi Uppy. Or as I like to call it, <laughs> this. Yep, I'm calling it that now. You, you can't stop. I'm sorry. Okay, I know I said no eviscerating moves, but like, Falcon and Ganon Punch might not kill you outright. You're definitely going to be feeling one of those hits for a while. I mean, Falcon is punching you so hard, he sets himself on fire. And I have no idea what kind of weird voodoo magic Ganon is putting into that hit of his, but I don't want any part of it. This might be cheating, but I couldn't leave them off the list now, could I? 8. Zelda Upper. Bro, this move sucks. But it's because it sucks that it's so painful. I mean, look at it. It's a centralized explosion that is designed to leave you with 6th, 8th degree burns and just leave you looking like Two-Face at the end of it, but it'll leave you alive. 
I mean, with Zelda and Link both pulling this crap, it just shows you that they truly are Nintendo's sadistic power couple. And I am now headcanning in that. You can't stop me. Bludgeoning again. But this time, you get icy. Or you get set on fire. Or maybe you explode. <laughs> Game & Watch's apple is some kind of cruel torture method that just leaves you in suspense right till you get hit in the skull by his giant hammer. I can just imagine his sadistic blank face as he sees the fear in your eyes, not knowing if today is your last day on Earth. <laughs> Funny little 2D man, eh? 6. Young Link Neutral B. So like, getting shot with an arrow hurts, right? But like, imagine if that arrow was on fire, and the arrows were really small, so you just eat painful hit after painful hit. I mean, this dude has no mercy, he just wants you to suffer as you get shot. Ain't no easy way out with this little freak. Man, the Zelda characters really are warped in this, huh? 5. Marth Side B Sword, but stabby. Lots of holes, slowly bleed to death. I don't think I need to say more. It's a sword. You all know how a sword works. It hurts. Let's move on. DK Downbeat is getting slapped with hands that are smacking the ground so hard that it causes an earthquake. Do I need to say more? And yet some of you freaks in the comments are going to be like, God, I wish that were me. Just, just get out of here. Get out of here. Number three. Bowser Side B is getting grabbed and chewed on mercilessly. You're literally being eaten alive. The only saving grace being it's by Bowser, so you probably aren't lasting more than like two nibbles from that big old jaw. Or maybe only one if you're 5'11". Number two. Ness Side B is being caught in a house on fire, except there's no smoke and it keeps getting hotter and you're going to be trapped in it so long as he wishes. You are literally getting witch trialed by a nine-year-old with psychic powers. And after you come out smoked like a salmon, he has the gall to ask you. Okay. And number one is... Bowser up throw. Dude, you are being drilled straight through the middle of your stomach. I mean, sometimes straight through the back of your spine. I literally cannot think of a worse way to go out. That shit is awful. Jesus, man. And I mean... In the end, Smash Bros is just brutal. Maybe you could take a step back and think about the pain you're inflicting on others by playing this horrible children's party game. And maybe we could go back and just play something nice and friendly like, I don't know, Pokemon. Oh, right.